Hi, this is Chris with CFB Creations. In this video, I'll be going over how I made this mixed nut holder out of a piece of a log that I found. Keep watching if you'd like to know how I did it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been out a while, but we finally got settled in North Dakota. Um, got all our household goods moved here. I got all my tools back. Um, spent the past couple weekends building some storage shelves uh, for the garage, laundry room, pantry, just uh, places to extend our storage. But uh, now that I'm done with that, I'm get back into making videos. Now to make this nut dish, um, I'm going to take this center section of this log to where it is the, the most round. Uh, I don't want to do it up here or down here because it'll just be distorted. I want a nice round dish to hold the mixed nuts. So I don't have a saw except for this one that can get into there. I don't even know if this is going to work because of the edge up here, but I'm going to give it a shot. So have fun watching me saw. I had a chainsaw. So this saw wouldn't go all the way to the edge because of this uh, top part up here. It's a freaking miter saw, but I got this rough cut limp branch saw and it's gonna make it the rest of the way through. But uh, now I gotta do it again. <laughs> so to get our round, I'm uh, I don't know. I'm gonna make this bowl about about this deep. So now I gotta cut, hopefully parallel to this, straight down here, and uh, do it all again. I'll come back whenever that's cut out. through not quite as clean as the first cut still got a little a little edge there but overall it's pretty good almost parallel I think uh, this is a little bit thicker than this side but for a, a nut dish I don't think it's gonna matter that much uh, since I sawed it unlevel this side's a little thicker than this side I'm going to try to take it down um, to be as even as possible using the, uh, the, the sander from my shop. So as I was sanding my life away trying to get this even, I decided it was probably too thick to begin with. So I cut it down um, so it's only, now it is only about it's under two and a half inches thick, which is, I think it's gonna look a lot better as a dish, as opposed to the way I had it before. Uh, so I've sanded both sides. They're both good and flat now and even. I think there's there's less than an eighth of a difference between one side and the other now. Um, so I've marked the middle, and I'm gonna take my router, which I've just attached a piece of scrap aluminum uh, up underneath one of the screws, and then I measured out and it's gonna be just right around, just over three and a quarter inches to get me uh, just over a six and a half inch uh, for a circle. And I put a hole right there. So what I'm gonna do is in the center of uh, the workpiece, I'm gonna put just a small finishing nail in the middle. And then I'm gonna put that hole over the nail, and then I can just put the, bring the router around and have a uh, perfect circle when I'm done. Oh, 
So that'll give me the outside ring for the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to bring it down further and further until I get it to the depth that I want. So now that I got the outside hogged out all the way down as deep as I want it, I'm just gonna start in the middle and work my way out so that I still have uh, area to support the base of the router to get a flat cut at the bottom. So now that I got the middle hollowed out down to the same depth as the outside, I'm obviously just gonna go ahead and remove this part, starting again with the middle and working my way out. All right, so I got the bowl hollowed out. A um, couple issues. Uh, you s I don't know if you can, you can see this little ridge in here. That's when I was uh, first doing the outside. I guess the finishing nail shifted or bent or something. Uh, so I would recommend using something thicker than a finishing nail if you were to use this method. Over here, the knot got it. the knot was a little deeper than I thought it was but uh, I, can over, I can overcome that. Um, so now I'm gonna do some sanding and make this thing look nicer. For the bark, I'm just gonna take the outermost layers off. I still want it to have a bark appearance, but I don't want Bark to be flaking off. So here's the the nutcracker and the little tools to pull out the pieces of nuts. I'm gonna have them right here. So now I'm just gonna drill some holes in here to allow these to stay there. So here's the finished product with the mixed nuts in there. Um, I think it turned out all right. The wife likes it, so that's all that really matters. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching CFB Creations.